Hey guys, I'm back with another haul. Um, I'm not going to do swatches in this video because I genuinely feel that um, that there's I need to get a better lighting because um, to show you the actual swatches because for some reason when I tried to do I actually recorded the video before this the first half you can't find but when I started doing swatches for some reason I was not able to show what the actual colors of the products are but um, I'm gonna try to do that in a separate video instead of just trying to figure it out right now so I'm just gonna let you know you'll be seeing two different videos of this um, I actually went Ulta Beauty shopping just got these products from Anastasia Beverly Hills now um, while I was thinking about this I did realize that I did a lot of swatches for the lipsticks lip liners and stuff like that that I had in the beginning of COVID um, but for some reason I feel like I don't think I did the um, I think I didn't do the swatches for highlighters specifically so when I saw this when I bought it I was like you know what I could actually do the swatches for the others that I have and especially the major thing would be is that these are specifically like cream um, based products um, and these are sticks so this is like the um, the highlighter stick line they had that Anastasia Beverly Hill has there's like five or six of them and I bought three of the five or six that the part of the company has um, now also I was just listening to what the noise was downstairs but I just realized that was my brother so um because I was not expecting any guests honestly speaking but anyways moving on um so um the especially since you get what i was trying to say was that there was like a the ones that i already have are all like powder based like like eyeshadow like eyeshadow is like powder so something like that and these are more like creamy based um creamy based so um cream yeah cream creamy um now the good thing about the powder one is that i was easily i am easily able to use it on my uh, eyelids as a um, as an eyeshadow but I just always try to make sure that if I'm using one particular shade of the highlighter on my cheekbones and my nose a little bit on my nose that I would use like a slightly different shade uh, highlighter for my eyes but I always try to mix it up with something else so it doesn't look too crazy on my uh, my face doesn't look too crazy I have not used the liquid highlighter as of yet I used I will actually I used one of my friends but I use that under like I did my skincare put that up on my cheekbones and then I did the foundation and everything like that so I feel like that I didn't show the true color or like like how it truly looks in like over the makeup like on top of my face like on top of the foundation and everything so um, I feel like I do want to try the liquid one as well and probably do like a proper like differences between the three and which one I actually do prefer but since I saw the liquid one I was like I want to go ahead and try these so um I did get these three they are like they're like if you see they're like two ends to it um and I will show you why so the first I will do is the shades um I have on the left which is iced out the middle is I am going blind clearly. Um, Cognac Diamond, and then the one on the right here is Pink Diamond. Well, the only one screen now. So now the reason why there is two sides to it is one, the bottom side will be the one where the names are. It's the bottom side. It has its brush, which I will tell you like the good thing about this. Um, besides the fact you don't need to use other products and then the other side is this now in the camera you can see that this is pretty light and you can't see the shine um, but in person it's actually darker and you can see the shine which is the reason why I don't want to do the swatches now um, now what I actually liked about this is that when you just swatch once like this across your hand directly from here or with your finger I've noticed well mainly I would say directly from the product itself that it looks like it's a lot especially the color of it um, but when you start blending it out it actually looks a lot, a lot nicer it doesn't look 
I'm blended or crazy. Um, I feel like with the powder, like you know how the eyebrow, not the eyebrows, the eye shadow, you have to like kind of blend it out a lot. Uh, with this, you don't really need to blend it out like cream, like crazy because it is cream. So I actually did not use the brush when I was I swatched it on my hands. Um, I do want to keep in mind that I normally am not a huge fan just swatching on my hands, but uh, because I always see like it's like it seems like the shade is slightly off when you put it on your face. Um, especially keeping in mind that your face um, shade may not be the same exact one uh, compared to your hands, which might cause a little bit of a difference a uh, difference of shade how it looks like color theory guys like just because one shade looks like looks like one way does not mean it will look the same for the other person with a different shade so just letting you guys know on that so um which is why i'm not really a huge fan of swatching hands on my hands unless it's necessary um but um when i swatch it with my fingers specifically I could see that it was blending out so yeah that definitely helped out a lot so other than that I will be posting a separate video with the swatches other than that if you guys want me to um, try out other products please do mention in the comments down below other than that I'll be linking both my Instagram pages down below make sure to follow hit the subscribe button the bell button I'll be back for more stay safe and stay tuned guys